because my hair is so thin, fine, that uh, there's not, uh, yeah, and, and my muscles are too high here, so all she can do is kind of fill in this line here. So that's all that she's going to try to do. I wanted it lower than that, but that's not going to happen. Well, here's my hairline. My hairline is like this, and I just want it lowered a little bit. To and in Mexico, it's a quarter of the price. And, you know, it's really reasonable in Tijuana, Mexico, at Hair Fix. And just two minutes from the border, it's less than $4,000. Bond villain. <laughs> I want James, James Bond. <laughs> I don't mind this at all. I'm just worried that uh, it's going to be a little painful when they pluck the hairs out of my back donor area. No pain, I can't believe it. <laughs> Do most people feel no pain? Yeah. Okay. Only the anesthesia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a painful. Okay, I just had the procedure where my face was down in the hole of a massage table for hours. But there was no pain, guys. No pain at all. Yeah, it hurt when I was injected with the um, anesthesia. <laughs> that hurt a lot. But that's just two to five minutes. And then it's like... It's like there's a shell on your head, like a turtle shell, and you don't feel anything when they're doing the, taking out the, the grabs. Um, and now I have my lunch, and this is wonderful. I forget what it is, and this salad is great with all kinds of berries and stuff, and some green juice. Uh, yeah, it's great. I asked a couple questions. You know, they don't do a lot of people over 65. I'm 61 and I had to take tests, you know, to prove my health. I had to take a lot of lab tests and an EKG and, you know, I thought it was unnecessary because I'm perfectly healthy and I think a lot of it is unnecessary because there's not a lot of, you know, they don't, they just inject you with some anesthesia and stuff. So. It's not a lot to deal with. I don't think it's a real big challenge physically, but they don't really do people over 65, just so you know. I've had an awful lot of cosmetic surgeries. I've had my ears pinned back. I've had my upper eyelids lifted. I've had a mid facelift. I've had facial sanding and then again I had the CO2 fractal laser resurfacing which was extremely painful. I've had lipo, I've had penis, I've had neck lipo, yeah, I've had it all because, well, yeah, I mean I want to look the best I can but also it's very important for me to look 
forward and hold high thoughts about the future. Never do I want to feel, oh, I'm over the hill. And that energy creates over the hill. I always want to feel like, oh, I always want to have hope for you. I always want to be excited about things. You know, I think that's very important for me. But this was one of the least painful. It's really easy. I was really surprised at how easy it is. That being said, I, uh, you know, I still don't like the way I look in the real world, but in my bathroom I look great. So I think I'm just going to stay in my bathroom the rest of my life. And I, <laughs> I invite you there as well. I actually had to come a day early to Tijuana because it was snowing again in Lake Arrowhead. And just a couple weeks ago, we got nine feet of snow in a week, and I was trapped for a week. Uh, and lately, they haven't been plowing the snow. Sometimes they wait an entire day, so I couldn't risk that. I have an appointment, so I came here uh, a day early, which was fine, you know, but I miss... I miss my Goliath so much because he's with a neighbor and I know he's got a hard time without me. My dog David is different. David is fine with anybody. Maybe I'm on medicine making me emotional. I really like Mexico and this is the time when a couple Americans were killed in Mexico um, by gangs or something and so a lot of Americans are afraid to travel to Mexico. I find it completely safe. I even came here with $4,000 cash. I didn't want to but my Bank of America was closed. The banks closed. I think the banks are afraid we all want to withdraw our money. <sighs> Whatever. Whatever. So anyway, I do over here with four thousand dollars cash, and uh, it's fine. I mean, I feel perfectly safe here, and I've always loved the Mexican people. I've worked with a lot of Mexican people in restaurants and stuff over the years. And the Mexican men are so hot, so handsome and macho, you know, it's really cool. I, I could see myself moving to Mexico at some point. Not Tijuana, but, you know, some other place. Okay, so this is the beginning of the implantations of the hair follicles taken from my donor area. And now the doctor is putting them in the front area where we want. And this is actually painless as well. At first, she had to inject me with anesthesia, right? Anesthesia? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that hurts, like a lot. But it's quick. <laughs> like it's a minute. Mm -hmm. And then it doesn't hurt at all. And that's a nice big surprise here. Mm -hmm. And look, they even have Toy Story on here. So we can get lost in Toy Story. And these wonderful nurses here are <laughs> assembling, Hello. they're taking the little pieces, of, they're taking the little hairs and putting them in a contraption in a needle and then the doctor takes the needle and injects them one by one. And Doc, I've got another question. I was told that when you put them in, they don't, they don't Day. They like die after a month or two and then they come back. Is that, is that what usually happens? Uh, pues, uh, se cae en otro, ¿no? Yes, uh, in, one, in one month uh -huh. uh, the graft got implanted uh, pulp, okay? But in three months it start to grow the new hair. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. um, so the hair that you put in there that's already been withdrawn from my 
had, that's not going to last. But underneath it, the follicle is going to grow a new one. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. And they say that the results, the best results are between six months and a year. That's when I'll see if it works? Yes. Okay. That's correct. Okay. This is not only not painful, it's so relaxing. I fell asleep and I woke up and now I'm getting a leg massage. Thank you very much. <laughs> And we're almost finished implementing the follicles in the front. Okay, I'm done. And look what I got. That's all new up there. That's exciting. We have no idea what it's going to look like, but we did a good job today. Yep. Thank you. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Brilliant job. They were able to get 3,300 grafts out from the back and put it in the front. I'm at the Quartz Hotel, which is right next to the big black New City Medical Building right there. The plaza there, or lobby or whatever that is, there. Apparently I bled last night, there's blood on my sheets. I don't remember it, so <laughs> I hope the maid's going to be okay with it. And I'll wait till my doctor's appointment in a couple hours and they will take care of it. But there was no pain last night. I did feel a little drugged and I guess I slept better than I thought. So again, the hotel, Quartz Hotel, is right next to the New City Medical Plaza. I mean, it's a couple feet away. And outside, there's the casino over there where I won $500. And some minimal shopping. There's a shopping store right there. And I decided to go this morning, and I decided, you know what? I might as well get 10 of these really big containers to grow vegetables in this year they were only like 10 bucks each they're huge but why not why not get yourself some goods everything's cheaper in mexico everything's cheaper in mexico that's why i saw your sister here so uh through this whole thing chris is the guy that i talked to online and he's like the manager. What, what is your position so, here? I'm actually the one who talks to the patients and guide you through the whole experience. So uh -huh. basically that is mine. He's amazing. My purpose. He's amazing. Uh, so yeah, so Chris can help you. You guys, not only did that handsome Chris, he's got the most beautiful eyes. Not only did he, you know, give me a great price and take care of everything, but he is insisting on driving me. He, I guess he wants to get me out of the country for sure. He's insisting on driving me to the border so that I can get out without any waiting through a medical pass. So he's a really nice guy. And it's a free consultation. Call up them and Chris will take care of you. And look at all the time Chris saved me. incredibly safe and reliable and efficient so I suggest them all right so even though Chris generously cut off at least 45 minutes of my waiting I still have to wait here I guess there's customs declaration ahead and I hope they don't have a problem with me bringing home pecans raisins 
and planters. Originally, I was gonna go to Turkey and have the hair transplant there. I got the price of like 2,500, which is really cheap, but when you add on, you know, airfare, hotel, hotel, who knows what kind of restrictions they're gonna have, it would have cost the same as it cost me here, which was less than $4,000 because I won 500 at the casino. But anyway, I had ordered my passport last year. It takes forever. So if you're trying to get a passport, it took like four months to get it. Okay, oh my goodness, are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Oh my goodness, I missed you. Oh, I missed you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Are you okay? Come on, David. 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 I'm back. David. Oh, look at David. <laughs> oh, David's here. I love you too. I love you too. Are you good boys? I know. I know. Are you good boys? Are you good boys? Tell Chris that Tom Beard sent you. No, I don't get a kickback. I don't get anything from it. It's just that I'm a real bargain hunter. And this was an unbelievable bargain. And everybody was as nice as can be. Now, I personally won't know what my results are for six months to a year. But they did what they could anyway. You know? Uh, what happens with me kind of depends on the quality of my hair and other stuff. But I totally recommend these guys. Hair Fix. Uh, yeah, 29th floor. Two minutes from the border. It's great. Bye.